Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with your daily free picks. So today's video, guys, brought to you by BetOpenly.com, the world's first peer-to-peer -peer sports betting site. If you haven't checked them out, guys, definitely check them out. I tell you this all the time, tons of value. Um, you're paying absolutely no juice. The only thing you're paying is a 1% commission only on bets you win. So if you lose a $100 bet at a normal book, you're gonna lose $110. Here, you're gonna lose 100. Pretty good deal, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so we kept on trucking yesterday. We went, uh, we went two and zero free picks, and uh, we won, um, we won our bet in master class. So three and zero for the day. Uh, we had, um, we had a, you know, we had a soft, a soft pick in there too. So I'll start off, guys. We had New England and Kansas City under. Okay, um, I'll tell you straight up, the 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 pick in master class was Atlanta Green Bay under. So I had both football games under yesterday. Um, Looking all around, the public loved the over. There was no question about that. I don't know how many parlays I saw on Facebook yesterday where the last game of that parlay was one of these two teams over. I didn't see any parlays where it's like, oh, yeah, you know, we picked the under. No, the, the public loved the over in this, okay? I said yesterday, guys, the, the money distribution, very nice. There was good conditions, especially in Green Bay, for that ball to go under. Um, you know, Tony Corrente amazing amazing under referee okay amazing and uh again you, you know you factor all these things in and you got you know you got a good pick okay and i know i totally get um you know what some of you guys kind of said in some of the messages where you know everything's going over everything's going over like why would you bet two games under what are the odds that both those games go under like you know saying there's a good shot both of them go over what are the shot they both go under well you know what um contrarian okay contrarian guys a lot of things lined up but the reality is what is the public perception right now the public perception is exactly that it's that you know football games are going over okay they're going over and what does that give us it gives us value it gives us value on the under okay and that's why we went both games under um, we had a lot of things lined up the money distribution was nice because the sharps saw what they saw the value on the under because the public betting these lines way up so anyways, guys, we got that. Um, above and beyond that, we uh, I said we, we got a little bit of a softball. I, I took Green Bay. I took Green Bay money line minus 260, okay? Um, there was never really a point in the game where that bet was threatened, okay? It just it wasn't really threatened at any point in the game. Um, you know, in, in retrospect, some of you guys say, well, why, why wouldn't you take it with the spread? You know, again, we don't know what the end outcome would be. I know that you know, at minus 260. And a few of you guys have said, you know, you're not comfortable taking bets at minus 260. I get that. But for me, guys, value is value wherever you find it, okay? Wherever you find it. If if something were a virtual certainty, a virtual certainty, and you had to pay minus 2,000, is there value there? You know, if that comes in at 9,999,000 times out of, you know, 10 million, is that good value? Yes, it is. Okay, regardless of what the odds are. So again, um, you know, value is value. It doesn't matter, you know, where it is. Obviously, my preference for value, I would love to find, you know, plus 250 dogs or plus 170 dogs. That's where I like to find the value. But when we find it in favorites, we can't ignore that. All right. And that's just part of our, our overall betting. So anyways, guys, um, that's it. I have I have three plays for you guys today for free picks. And uh, seven plays in total. So masterclass, um, you guys will get an additional four plays. Um, amazing response again yesterday for masterclass. I'm like every day now we're welcoming on a ton of new people. Um, very, very excited to have you guys on. I I'm loving the feedback I'm getting on the videos, especially uh, the NFL and college football betting systems. That seems to be everyone's favorite so far. And this week, guys, I am going to do college football betting systems volume two so volume two and that's just going to be basically another seven or eight systems that you can use you know without computers without anything just basically reference that and uh yeah hopefully win some money from there so if you're interested guys you go to benderwins.com sign up for masterclass it's uh 99 a month gets you um my my picks every day my full card every day well five five to seven times a week um so far it's been every day uh, so you get that every day. You get all the masterclass videos, all the masterclass educational videos. 
and uh, I'll even do some one-on-one -on -one coaching with you on Instagram within reason, okay? And I have to preface that because I have a lot of people messaging me out. So within reason, I, I can't spend an hour or 45 minutes, but you know, if there's a few questions or, or some things you're hung up on, I'm more than happy to help, okay? So let's get into it today, guys. So three free picks um, and then four additional plays in uh, Masterclass. All right, first off, guys, um, we have uh, we have four different system indicators on this. Um, I like the weather, how the weather's shaping up here. Uh, the humidity is right where we want it to be. Um, the Yankee game, guys, we are going to go uh, Yankee and Tampa to go under eight and a half. Okay, we're going under eight and a half. Yankees and Tampa. All right, so that is uh, that's game number one for us. Now, San Diego and LA Dodgers. Couple early steam bets on this game. I had this one circled. This line, um, I didn't even get this in at eight. It was at eight for a while, um, and I didn't get it in. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why because, to be honest, like I'm looking at after it went to eight and a half. I'm looking after when it went to eight and a half, and I'm like, was I waiting on seven and a half? There's no way this game was going to seven and a half. It just wasn't. Um, so I don't know what I was waiting on, to be honest. But I missed eight. See. I mean, how many, over 15 years, I'm still learning, right? Um, I think that was just a, a lapse in judgment on my part. But I still like this at eight and a half. I definitely do. Um, San Diego, Dodgers, over eight and a half. There's a steam bet at eight. There's a steam bet at eight and a half. Um, again, I, I think we have a bit of protection at eight and a half. I don't see it going to nine, but um, I don't know why I waited. Anyways, guys, that, that's our play there. San Diego, LA, we're going over eight and a half in that game. All right, next, guys, um, NBA. All right, on to NBA. Now, we haven't had too much NBA. Um, I Actually, I have a couple picks in NBA today, one for you guys, one Masterclass, and then I have another WNBA pick in Masterclass. Actually, I actually have two WNBA picks in Masterclass. Um, but NBA, guys, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go on the Lakers, minus 7.5 in this game, okay? Um, I have three different indicators. Uh, again, they're all looking at different things, but... Um, you know, they're playoff specific indicators that have looked at a large volume of situations and they, they have very good returns anywhere from 57 up to 63%. So very, very good indicators on that. Now there, there's no steam, no reverse line moves, but I really think, um, with these indicators being as, uh, you know, as mature as they are being around for a long time, experiencing a fairly high volume for playoff indicators, because again, with playoff indicators or playoff systems, you're not getting the volume that you're going to get out of a regular season system, right? You're not going to have systems that have like, you know, 3,800 plays in it. You're just not. Um, so again, I look for when you have systems that are not as mature with less games, I look for these higher percentages. That's why when I'm seeing like, you know, 58, 60, 63%, I'm comfortable with those numbers because it allows for the variance, okay? It allows for variance. But we got those, those indicators on LA, nothing on the other side, guys. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go Lakers. Minus seven and a half, not to mention as well, um, you know, again, I, I don't often talk about the, the actual handicapping aspect of this. I mean, you guys yesterday in, in football, you asked me, you know, about some injuries and stuff like that. I mean, I can literally, I can tell you to the minute, not, not even, I can tell you to the second when those injuries actually are made public information, like right down to the second. So yeah, and I, I pay a lot for that. It's not cheap. But yes, I do factor in, I factor in a lot of things. I factor in, I don't talk about it very much. I mean, every once in a while, you know, I'll bring up a key injury. But by the time that injury happens, that move occurs, okay? There's a lot of other people like me out there, you know, swimming in the water, waiting for something to come up across the line and react faster than the public. But by the time I come out here and I, I do my video for you guys and I say, you know, Ryan here for Bender wins and I do all this other stuff, there's no shot that we're going to pick up value on injuries that have come across the line. And we live in a world of technology. It happens like that. So the, a lot of the information that I'm giving out to you guys, injuries are priced in. Injuries are priced into the game, right? And, and in a lot of cases, a lot of cases, we can make injuries work to our advantage because the public can overreact or Vegas can overreact. One of the two, okay? And we can find value there. But it's rare that... You know, if you're looking at an injury report that is five hours old, you have to discount that a little bit. You have to discount that a little bit. Um, 
you know, at least in terms of the, the presumed value based on that person being injured. Now you can look for it. What was the line? How much did it move? Okay. You know, let's say for argument's sake, uh, you know, LeBron goes out. You know, LeBron's not playing tonight, right? And the line moves nine points. You can look at that and you can be like, wow, that's a huge overreaction. That line is way off. Like Lakers sh still should be a four point favor or something. That, and I'm not saying the line would move nine points. I'm giving an extreme example. That is where, um, you know, you can find that extra value. So yes, again, I do. And my point, getting back to it, was on the Laker game, guys, that above and beyond the indicators, um, I just, I like the matchup. I like the Lakers in this game. So um, that's our last pick. All right, so yeah, Lakers minus seven and a half. All right, guys, so just the three plays today. Um, again, you know, uh, I'm glad you guys had another great day yesterday, just adding on to what we did over the weekend. Um, hopefully a solid day today. And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much. As always, I really, really do appreciate all the, all the comments and kind words and, and the feedback and, and this community just like helping each other. It's, it's funny now, like I'll see someone comment and I'll go off and like do something and I'll come back like, okay, I better answer that comment. And like three people have already answered. I'm like, hmm, awesome. And like the right information too. So I love seeing that guys. It just shows like what a powerful community we're building where we can all help each other out, um, you know, we don't, we don't have very much negativity, um, you know, until I lose, like, God forbid, two or three days in a row. <laughs> and then there's some negativity. But, guys, I love the community we're building. So, again, you know, feel free to, to comment and, and have conversations with each other. And I, I love it. So, anyways, guys, thank you very much. And, as always, have a very lucky day.